Hello everyone, welcome to the Xara Template Channel. This is lesson number nine for the Xara Web Designer 365 Premium Software. In this video, we're gonna talk about a new feature called Stick at Top, which basically makes an object stick at the top of your page when you scroll to a certain point within your web page. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is draw a rectangle in your workspace. So let's go ahead and go to our toolbar and select the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle in our workspace. So the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and right click on that rectangle and select web sticky and stretchy. And then within that properties menu, we're going to select stick at top. Then go ahead and hit apply and then hit close. The next thing that we're going to do is add some text to our workspace. So let's go ahead and select the text tool in our toolbar and then add some text to our workspace. In this case, I'm going to hit control shift L to add some filler text. After you add your filler text, let's go ahead and hit F5 to preview it. So let's go ahead and scroll the web page down. And you'll notice that the text is out of view, but the object is still in view because it sticks at the top of the page. So let's go ahead and close this view out. The next thing I want to mention is maybe you don't want the text to go over the object, but underneath it. And the way to fix that is to go to your page and layer gallery. Let's go ahead and expand that. And then under the mouse off state, let's go ahead and expand that. And then we're going to move the rectangle by left clicking on it and dragging it above the text area. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you left click and drag that above the text area, let's go ahead and hit F5 to preview it. And if we scroll downward, you'll see that the text goes underneath the stick at top object rather than above it. So that pretty much summarizes how the stick at top feature works, but we'll go in more detail in a later video. Also, this video was possible thanks to our first Patreon supporter. So if you're interested in seeing additional videos on the Xarb Web Designer software, definitely make sure you support us by going to our Patreon page. And I'll leave a link in the show more description as well as in the comment section so that you'll know how to get to that page. And if you're not sure how to donate on Patreon, I will also leave a link to the training video I made showing you how to do that. And thanks again. Don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.